the video you guys have been waiting for royal purple versus the rest of what i've tried but specifically royal purple purple what am i talking about this morning i'm definitely not awake yet i wanted to print this off and not have to do any editing or and all that but i was like you know what I'll do the editing, I'll put it on the phone, I'll screenshot everything, I'll voice over, I'll talk about the different columns and stuff. <sighs> I need coffee. Anyway, Royal Purple versus Amsoil is what a lot of people wanted to see, and you'd be surprised. Royal Purple is a pretty damn good oil. Let's get into it. Alright, so here we go. Good news is the report for the V8, this town, V8 powering this town car. After another 5,000 mile oil change interval, metals remained low and stable. Aluminum came back down 3 parts per million. We saw from back in October showing better piston wear during this run. Based on Flashpoint, a trace amount of fuel showed up in this oil, but that shouldn't be a concern. It came from operational factors like idling and short trips which i did idle this vehicle quite a bit the last 5,000 miles that's why i'm so surprised at the rating the tbn is still good at 3.2 so we're still thinking you could try for 7,000 miles if you feel like it nice one um if you look at the oils here on the right the very very far right where the top says 3,000 miles i'm going to run that test again that's mobile extended performance it did absolutely the worst for the short amount of time that it had um in the vehicle and then the next one was Pennzoil platinum ultra which has the 232 450 the next one after that was the amsoil signature series which is the highest aluminum of all of them um and then the last one at 42 112 that's the royal purple look at those numbers they're so much better than uh than you would expect in general the numbers for iron are lower the numbers for aluminum is lower uh the iron number is next to amsoil the lowest uh copper's the the lowest the royal purple so far had the least amount of wear now molybdenum shows that it's on the lower spectrum with royal purple which is again that 42,112 category right there but it has a higher boron count than the other, than the mobile and the Pennzoil Platinum Ultra. So it makes up for not having as much molybdenum because boron is a more versatile anti-wear additive than molybdenum is. So a lot of people forget about boron. Boron is a very, very, very good anti-wear additive. So it had almost the same you know it was under the then amsoil amsoil had high molybdenum so overall amsoil's additive package between the two are better but royal purple is not that far behind it it's better than any of the other ones i've run so far um calcium was ballpark magnesium uh ballpark the same phosphorus the same yeah zinc ballpark same barium zero so now we're getting into the lower portion of the actual readings what we wanted to see how the filter was doing how the additive package was holding up flashpoint and stuff like that look at the sus viscosity at 210 degrees it held up better than any of the oils that we had it held up better than the mobile which had almost no miles on it which is that 50.9 category the Pennzoil Platinum Ultra was the second best, which I told you guys I really noticed a difference with those higher sus viscosity and CST viscosity numbers. 58.3 for the Pennzoil Platinum Ultra, 54.1 for the Amsoil Signature Series, and 59.5 for Royal Purple. And look at that CST viscosity at 10.06, smack dab right in the middle of the spectrum. And, and, and look at the 9.74. That's the Pennzoil Platinum Ultra. That's why I keep telling you guys, when I run Pennzoil Platinum Ultra and I run Royal Purple, this engine in my vehicle is so quiet. It just seems to run so quiet. The other ones I'll get a little bit of noise out of, but the mobile being the worst. Everybody's like, oh, in the beginning you said the mobile was so quiet. Look at that 7.53 rating that 15 point, or 50.9. So Pennzoil Platinum Ultra and Royal Purple have the best 
viscosity breakdown under heat so far from what I've seen and my engines the quietest Flashpoint was a little higher uh, with the Royal Purple because of how much I've been idling it But you can look the Amsoil wasn't far behind it and neither was the Pennzoil Platinum Ultra um, Fuel there's just a little bit of a trace of fuel That's what the TR means in the left column over there and the TBN package was phenomenal. It was at 3.2 um 3.6 for the penzoil platinum ultra and 4.8 for the mobile because it was only 3,000 miles i ran that so that's why i say i got to rerun that test again i'm just reluctant to do it because the mobile didn't do very good in this vehicle at all even at 3,000 miles was it, i was not surprised i mean i was not impressed with that oil and then ams oil being the highest tbn rating because it's 70 percent more but overall the royal purple probably has done the best in this vehicle i hope this helps you guys in closing royal purple is a damn good oil very good oil Pennzoil platinum ultra is right there next to it it's kind of a toss-up royal purple seems to do just a tad bit better in my vehicle than Pennzoil platinum ultra does ams oil has a really high chemical rated package but when it comes to resisting shear and stuff like that it's not as good as the Pennzoil platinum ultra and uh royal purple they both do better and the consistency between this is an xg2 ultra synthetic filter so if you look at the insoluble rating if you go back and look at the insoluble rating all the filters or every single oil change uh, did fairly well so far royal purple even though everybody was talking so much smack about it saying oh they just heard it's a dye that's added to it it's not going to run well in my car it's not going to do this it's not going to they were wrong. They did very well in this vehicle. And this engine van ran very quiet and very smooth with it. Yeah. You guys be blessed. I got Shell Rotella 5W30 gas truck formula in here right now. Let's see what we do with that. And then I have Amsoil XL series for boosted engines with extra wear protection and shear protection next. And then after that, it's Redline Ester Base CDDP. If you guys are interested in sending me any oils to try and you want me to do these analysis to offset the cost, you send me the oil. I pay for the report. It's about $35 to $40 for the report for me to do anyway. That's fine. If not, you're at the mercy of whatever I choose. And you get it when you get it. Y'all have a blessed day.